everyone. Welcome to my channel, Learn with Srihan. My name is Srihan Sao. Today we are going to make three awesome boats. So let's get started. My first boat is the motor boat. So here's how you make it. The materials you need for this experiment are a thermocol piece, two batteries with a casing, a propeller, all of which motor and wires. So first take your thermocol sheet and cut it into a boat shape like this. So, so we, we have to protect our electronic devices from the water so we have to put guards here. So after you have done that it should look like this. So now let's insert our electronic devices. So first let's attach our propeller to the motor. Yes. Then keep our battery here. And then like this. Then we have to glue everything together with soldering. After the connection, my boat will look like this. Now I will do a small experiment with a needle and my boat. Now let's, I'll drop this thing. See the needle is sinking whereas our heavier boat is floating because of the upward force which helps my boat to float and that is called buoyancy. And it follows Archimedes principle which states that a body totally or partially immersed in a fluid is subject to an upward force equal to the weight of the fluid it displaces. Since our boat weighs less than the displaced water, so our boat is able to float. Now let's Now let's put it in the water. Oh, it's, our boat is going quite fast. Now the second question is why if why our, our boat is moving forward? Why not backward? Here we apply Newton's third law which states that every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. So when our propeller throws air backwards there is an opposite force which helps our boat to move forward. Don't stop watching it. I have still two more boats to go. My next boat is the solar boat. Doesn't it sound cool? So let's get started. The things you need for this experiment are a propeller. This is a motor that is called the solar motor as it only works when it's attached to a solar panel. This is an on-off switch, a solar panel, a piece of styrofoam. So here's how you make it. First take your styrofoam piece and cut it into a boat shape. Then it should look like this. Mm. I have made three changes. The first change is a stopper. So that our solar panel won't fall. And our second change is a stage so that our motor will stay in one place. Like this. The third change is the extended thermal cord. It has two benefits. Number one, give better stability to the boat. Number two, once propeller rotate, it should not splash water, otherwise electronic parts may damage. Let's assemble it with the help of soldering iron and hot glue gun. Then test it on the water surface. After assembling, my solar boat is looking like this. Let's switch on. See, the boat fans are rotating and the boat is moving forward on the principle of Newton's third law. Here the 
question is when the motor got energy here to inform you solar panel converts solar energy into electrical energy the same electrical energy then converts into mechanical energy by the motor and helps my boat to move forward my last boat is the motorized double paddle boat so let's get started the things you will need for this experiment are a styrofoam a battery with battery casing this is a motor that is called a double head shaft motor a on off switch two wires three four ice cream sticks a refill two bottle caps so here's how you make it first take your styrofoam piece and cut it into a boat shape then it should look like this i have put uh, some ice cream sticks and colors so that it looks attractive to make our paddles we should take our four ice cream sticks and cut them into halves then take our bottle caps and cut four slits into them do the same for the other bottle cap then take the ice cream sticks and insert them into the slits then take your refill and cut them into half then make two holes in the cap so that your refill can enter then seal everything with hot glue then it should look like this do the same for the other cap now you have to take your motor and attach your paddles like this then when it's tight all the electric equipment should be kept like this should be equal distributed do now we attach everything with hot glue and then we need to connect our wires to the motor on our switch and our batteries using soldering iron now our motorized double paddle boat is ready let's switch on electrical energy converted into mechanical energy by the double head shaft motor since my two pa paddles are coupled with the motor shafts so as soon as the motor transfers energy two paddles rotate and help my boat to move forward thank you for watching my three boats and i hope you will try to do it at your home Please do not forget to subscribe and like my video and hit the bell icon to receive all my upcoming video thank you